cop. I like to give Tom Tucker a ticket. I was going like 41. Oh my god, I don't believe it. They finally got that son of a bitch Briggs. You know that guy? You're damn right I do. Bobby Briggs is the one who put me in this wheelchair. Yeah, thank God. Well, it was 1996. Briggs was one of the biggest heroin dealers east of Providence, which is mostly just open water. But still, I'd been undercover tracking his operation for six months and had finally gained his confidence. You kill a cop, they'll put you away forever. Then get ready to spend the rest of your life as a lame gimp with an annoying voiced wife. He'd met Bonnie. Briggs got away. Hey, Dad, you're going to want to see this. Again, recapping our breaking news. Longtime fugitive Bobby Briggs has escaped from police custody. His whereabouts are currently unknown. News of Briggs' escape first broke on Telemundo, if you can believe Cream, not both. Chief, can I have a word? Yeah, but first, you have to agree there's a huge difference between bisexual men. Can I help you? Not illegal, not illegal, show me the law, not illegal. Hey, Joe, look, I know you're down about this Briggs thing, and that kind of bums me out. Say, Quagmire and I will help you bring this guy to justice. Uh, Peter, what did I say about you volunteering me for All right, let's do it! Well, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna need someone who's very good at disguise. Who said that? I'd love to- Joe, your 25-year-old son and your baby daughter share a room just so you can keep a weirdo beautiful mind room? Isn't that a little bizarre? And then we dug the bullets out of that Iraqi family's skulls so they couldn't be traced back to us. Today, I saw a balloon. Kitty? Lois, she is a purebred Persian. I can trace her lineage to the cats kept by Cleopatra. Just tell me what I need to do, Glenn. Well, first she has a very active bowel. You can't be too generous with the baby wipes. Stroke front to back like you would on yourself. <laughs> Clean that up, you idiot! Love you! Boy, it'll be satisfying to finally slap the cuffs on Briggs once and f And so I say unto you, sons of liberty, no longer will free men live under the yoke of giant predatory birds, shrieking, swooping down, stealing our livestock. What's going on in here? N nothing you ever been to Atlantic City before? Oh, once, about 20 years ago. Why? All right! All right! All right! All right! Hey, are you Tanya? Yeah, who are you? A guy who's looking for Bobby Briggs. Where is he? He lives at 2820 Ocean Boulevard across from the park. Apartment 2. Oh my god! Oh! My neck! Oh! Oh my god, Brian! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Call somebody! Oh! We need one of those boards they use for football players! Oh! Hey, what's going on? Nothing. I just... Oh, this guy has sugar cereals. His mom must be so cool. And he's got a trash compactor. <laughs> it compacted it all! That is so boss! It looks like you're at a roof. Damn it, there's no way across. Heads up! I got you now, Briggs. You're a great cop with a very distinguished career. You caught that guy who was killing all those Filipino girls? Yeah, but this was important. This was the guy who ruined my life, the one perp who meant everything to me. If I caught this guy, I'd finally be able to sleep at night. Guys, you gotta let us out of here. The real criminal's getting away. Yeah, the bastard's making a break for it, just like South America. Hmm, a lot of black guys over there. Hey, man, where you going? Peter? Well, yours are made of a stronger metal. We're gonna have to go with the acetylene torch penis. Don't don't look right at it. My STDs help it burn brighter. 
Gays are in the ignition. Let's go. We gotta get to El Paso. Joe, how do you know the area code for Juarez, Mexico? There was a stem cell doctor I went down there to see. He just rubbed, like, salsa on my legs. This plane's going to Miami! <laughs> Meow. Purr. Purr. I think you're dreaming. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, Brian, the stupidest thing I ever did was turn the bubbles off in a hot tub. Yeah, party! Ew, bath with friends. Brian, we can try to make you feel a little less repulsive, but... We're not spending human money on a deformed animal. What? Well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. But here, you can have this back. It's boring. It doesn't do anything. I'm not crying. Look, listen, just here, just take this. What is this? That's my dentist. He'll bill me. I've got an account. You got an account with a dentist? He sells me nitrous at wholesale. I bang his wife. Those both sound like things for you. A big fat black mom is here. I know I didn't just hear what that man said. Jerome, you gotta go to extra church. Oh, mom. Oh, my God, look at your teeth. Hey, maybe you can help us build the dam if you think you got the chops for it. Well, think about it. It's something to chew on. <laughs> we use him just the right amount. Cosmetic surgery in this family since Lois got a boob job. I don't know what happened. I told the doctor C cups. I told him something else. I think he did a damn good job. Okay, now we've used him too much. On the rain, so stop your sigh. Be happy again. Keep on smiling. Cause when you're smiling, the whole world... And the yard's got plenty of room for little ones. Although that's really up to the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so sorry I'm late. Let me show you the house. No need to. Your partner already sold us on it. I'll take it. So tell me again, where's the lake? Right there. And where's the summer camp? Right over there. I'll take it. Now I am... Very busy doctor's office. Where are you from? You sex a thing, sex a thing, you. Brian, five sales this week. You're killing it. Well, we got this crap condo down by the marina. We haven't been able to unload it in two years. You find some sucker to buy it, and I'll make you partner. All right, sounds good. It's a plan. Hey, did I tell you about Kim and marketing? You mean my wife, Kim? I'm gonna go sell that condo. That's pretty cool. Thanks. You're welcome. I just wish I could do something more for you. Hmm. I could make you rich. No, no, no. That's just money. I'll think of something else. What are you talking about, Brian? No, no, no. I've said too much. What are you thinking about? Thinking about putting black guy hair in a ponytail. Because the times change, but I don't. All right, guys. Here it is. Prescott Towers. Quahog's premier luxury. I don't know about buying a place without seeing it first. Of course not. I wouldn't expect you to. But as your friend, I wanted to let you know early because there's another buyer who's about to snap it up. I think he's a pilot for Delta? Delta? Not Lou Sheridan, is it? Well, I'm not really permitted to say. Which will offer us a good cost analysis comparison uh, that I think we'll be able to utilize as we move forward in the next fiscal year. Hey, guys. I gotta leave. I got a nosebleed, and uh, I don't work here. It's probably nothing, but there's a stain on the rug in the shape of a little kid. I don't know if you want this now, but I bought you a mini cactus. He's send the purchase. State law. Thank God. Gotta go tell Brian the deal's off. Oh, there's a head in the freezer. Oh, and Sherbert! 
looking for Brian Griffin. I'm still with a Pinocchio, a pizza pie from Domino's. All of this because I'm singing in a pointy hat. Look, Mr. Griffin's not here, but if you leave your name, I'll let him know you stopped by. <sighs> Fine. Glenn Quack, I'm gonna be Buffalo Bill, and you're gonna be a great big fat person. Close the lid. Ryan, what are you doing? I'm hiding from Quagmire for a few more hours. After that, he won't be able to pull out of that deal. And if anybody knows how to pull out, it's Quagmire. Now let me out of this deal and give me my money back. Look, if you're not happy with your current property, we could roll your money over into something in sinkhole estates. Those places are going very fast, though. Who's a pilot you hate? You are such a scumbag. You know, when you were... No, I'm serious. Even though I know you never liked me, you still helped me when I really needed it. That says a lot about your character. I'm ashamed of myself, because I am none of the things you are. You're honest and direct and... Com Face it, you failed at people's safety net job. Oh, come on, guy, give me a break, huh? I've had a rough day. You've had a rough day? You guys wouldn't believe the day I've had. First of all, I didn't have any clean underwear this morning, so I had to wear a bathing suit. 